everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Drew Sims, and for the past two and a half years, I've been living out of my Jeep as a freelance photographer and filmmaker. And today I'm out in Arizona doing a night of winter camping. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to also give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a ton and also helps me to be able to continue this lifestyle out of the Jeep and to be able to continue to bring videos like this for you guys. So all the support is greatly, greatly appreciated. I know it's a little late in the month for me to be posting a vlog and I wanted to have one out mid January, but unfortunately I tested positive for COVID on January 2nd when I was back home. So that was a not so fun start to the new year, but luckily nobody in my family was hospitalized. We all just had mild symptoms. So happy to be back out on the road now. I was actually up in Salt Lake the past week and a half working on the Jeep, putting on some new additions as well as just kind of fixing up the interior. Some of the wood was starting to chip and so two and a half years in the road, so this thing was a little beat up. So I was happy to do a little maintenance on that. I didn't want to vlog while I was in Sedona just because the snow came and went so quickly. Probably within 24 hours, it snowed, you know, six inches to a foot of snow. And then the sun came out and it literally all melted in a day. So just kind of enjoyed my time there, met up with some buddies and did some hiking and focused on photography and getting some drone footage. And now I'm up near Flagstaff. And as you can tell, there is a ton of snow on the ground. I was actually supposed to camp last night as you guys just saw some footage of me driving around in the snow. But unfortunately, a buddy of mine, I was about 45 minutes away from me and I got a text around 5 p.m. saying that he had blown his transmission and that he was stuck down a forest service road. So I decided to pack up and head towards him to help him out and uh, tow him out of the snow and at least get him to the main road. Here today though, hopefully the snow lasts through the afternoon. Not gonna be getting any snow tonight, which is unfortunate, but should be a lot less wind and a little bit more of an enjoyable experience. My initial plan was to camp on some Forest Service roads I'd scoped out around Flagstaff, but yesterday they closed down literally every single Forest Service road. So kind of just had to come up with a plan on the spot and ended up heading a little bit north of Flagstaff and found this area and really didn't plan too much around here. So today is just gonna be driving around, exploring and seeing if we can find a decent spot. Alright, I'm about 100 yards short of where I'm trying to get. As you can tell, I'm in a t-shirt right now. I changed out of my snow pants. It's like probably 42 degrees out, which doesn't sound that warm, but when the sun's out and beating down, there's no clouds. It's, it's pretty nice weather. So everything on the ground right now is kind of turning to slush. I'm getting a little icy in my tires. We're just spinning up there. So I bought a pair of chains about a week ago when I was headed to uh, Sequoia was my initial plan. They got dumped on with a ton of snow, but they actually closed down um, Sequoia and Yosemite. So I'm pretty happy I didn't make that like 14 hour drive out to California. Sequoia has mandatory chain restrictions during certain times of the year. I just ordered a super cheap pair off of Amazon, a pair that looked the most durable for that price range and also easy to install. So hopefully these work. Hopefully within the next 30 minutes I'm at camp and hopefully it's got a pretty epic view of Mount Humphrey.
Another successful meal over the fire done. I think I cooked the asparagus just a little too long, but it's a little tough to control heat when you're cooking over a fire. So I think I did a decent job and the moon just rose. It's uh, just past the full moon, so it's pretty bright out right now. And probably gonna hang for a bit, drink another beer, and then make my way up to the tent. Morning. Pretty good night's sleep, not too cold last night. Absolutely no wind, which was great. If you've ever slept in a rooftop tent with wind, you know how miserable it is. So woke up this morning, flew the drone a bit for sunrise. And now probably gotta move the Jeep. Uh, the kitchen, I've got the back tires on rocks, so the kitchen's a little elevated, so I can't really work with the stove back there. So I'll probably move it down uh, just a little bit and put the tent away really quick before I move it, get breakfast going, and then head out of here. Gonna take a quick break in the video to talk about this week's sponsor, and that is Jackery. Jackery is a leader in portable power solutions from power banks to solar panels to actual full-size power stations. And at the beginning of January, they reached out to me and asked me to try out their new Explorer 1000 power station. This battery is 13 inches wide, nine inches deep, and 11 inches tall, and only weighs in at 22 pounds. The battery I had previous to this was only a 400 watt battery and weighed in at 29 pounds. So I think this is Crazy to be there getting 600 more watts and saving seven pounds. It's 
much easier to carry around than my previous battery for sure. On the actual battery, you've got two USB-C and two USB outputs, three AC outlets rated to 1,000 watts. Below, you've got a regulated 12-volt DC carport output, which is a great option if you're looking to run a fridge off of this. Without sunlight, with my 400-watt battery, I usually had to come into town, charge up on an AC outlet, and go back out. But with this, I'll definitely be able to hang out longer and still be able to charge my laptop and drone batteries and camera batteries. Anybody that's looking to live on the road and travel a little more long-term on the road, I think a thousand watt versus anything smaller is definitely the way to go. So big shout out to Jackery for sponsoring this video. I put below in the description a link to their site, so make sure you guys check it out and get some gear of your own. As you can tell, the hammock situation didn't really work out this morning too well. I only have one of the actual straps for the hammock. On this side, the other side, I had to use paracord this morning. And no matter what I did, it just keeps sinking enough. The paracord was just a little more elastic. And my food was getting cold, the coffee was getting cold, so this is the best I got. I think I got about an inch of clearance right now, but it's still comfortable and breakfast was good. And the sun's out, so really can't complain about much. Going to pack up the Jeep now, do dishes really quick. I'm not gonna film any of that. I wanna get out of here um, and just make sure I get out okay because I'm headed up north for sunset today and wanna get there early and scope out the area. I'm actually headed to a spot uh, my buddy Austin Sills told me about. He's Arizona based. His Instagram is just at Austin Sills. I've never even heard of this spot before. Never seen really any photos or videos from here, so. Super excited and hopefully there'll be some snow over there too. And yeah, I will see you guys at sunset.